Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here, and this time I want to talk to you about a problem that I see crop up quite a bit when people are working with large or large-ish data sets. And this has nothing to do with optimizing memory, although that's probably something I want to talk about in a future video. This has to do with loading in data from multiple CSV files into a single data frame. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say here I have NumPy and Pandas loaded up, and I want to see what data files I have. So I like to use the glob module. Glob is just this fantastic module in the Python standard library. So the glob module dot glob. And I'm then going to give it a pattern, sort of like I would give at the shell, right? So I can use star, I can use question mark, all that good stuff. So for data, I'm going to say nyc taxi star dot csv. And it's going to show me four files here. Now, these files are actually pretty large in size. These are data files that I love to use in my teaching and in my books. Um, this is New York City taxi data. And we can see here that we have four separate files. We have from January and July 2020 and January and July 2019. Um, and I would love to load these into a single data frame to do some analysis and then pick through what's there. The problem is that in order to do that, I'm going to have to load each of them separately and then put them together. And that's kind of a drag. And what if there are more files and all sorts of other stuff? So let me show you what I could do, sort of a very, very simple version. So let's start off with df1 equals pd read csv. And I can, of course, use the read csv um, function or to create a new data frame. And I'm going to say here, well, it's data nyc taxi 2020 dash zero one dot csv and i really am not interested in all of the columns most of the analysis i do so i can say use calls most of the analysis i do just uses uh, passenger count and trip distance and total amount oops and total amount and if i load those we're going to have more than enough data so i go and i load this up right and that takes a little bit of time because it's like not a small file load 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 there we go well, wait, I want to do another file as well. So now let's say df2 is going to be 202007. And you can see how this is going to be a real drag. So how can I deal with this in a smarter way? How can I sort of operationalize this so that I'm doing it in a smarter way? Well, in the world of programming, we talk a lot about dry, dry being don't repeat yourself. And this is exactly the sort of thing that I don't want to be repeating. So one way that I could do it is to create a loop and iterate over each of these data frames and load them into separate data frame objects. We still will not have one united data frame. We'll get there in a little bit. But at least we will create a list of data frames that we can then use in some way. So how am I going to do that? Well, I can say here for one file name in, and watch this. I'm going to say here glob.glob. .glob. I'm just going to grab that. And then I'm going to say here, I can say here all DFs equals a list. And then I can say here new df equals and then i'm going to say read csv and it's really important to note that all of the csv files here have the same columns and the same data types if that were not the case what i would be doing would be like madness not work you name it but what i can do now is say oh i want to actually load up a one file name i can even here say print you know loading one file name just so i can get a little bit of an update on what's being loaded because it will take a few moments here so now what we can do is go through, it's loading this, it's loading this, it's loading this, like going through each of them. Okay, and so once we load all this data, then we will have, what's the len of all DFs? And the len of all DFs is, oh, zero. Oh, because I forgot to append it to the DFs. Ha ha ha, that would really help, wouldn't it? All DFs append of new DF. You were probably thinking, what's going on? Why is he not appending them? And the answer is... There's no good reason. Okay, so now that's, this is why we double check things, right? Okay, and now we're going to check the len of all DFs. And look at that, it has four elements in it. And what are those things? If I say all DFs here, it's going to look kind of ugly, but it's going to show me all these data frames. So what I could do is I could then say DF equals PD concatenate, concat of all DFs. And concat basically takes a list of data frames, just like I have here, and turns them all into one big happy data frame or happy-ish. So if now I say df.shape, it's a lot of data, right? That's going to be their 21 million rows with those same three columns. Pretty snazzy. And so this works. This works pretty well. And then I can do all sorts of analyses if I want, right? I can say here, you know, df, uh, let's say I'll call it passenger count, you know, value counts. 
and it's going to tell me how often each number of passengers appeared in New York City taxis. Um, if I were doing a more sophisticated analysis, I would have kept in the year and the month, or I would have kept in the date, let's say the drop-off date or the pickup date, and then I could also have that parsed as a date, and I could pull information out by year and by month as well. But there is a slightly more sophisticated way to do this, and this is where I think it's really important and useful for people using Pandas to also know core Python. Right? Very often I find that people learning Pandas are like, yeah, 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 forget the Python stuff. I'm not going to be doing ifs. I'm not going to be doing for loops. So I really don't need that. But we just saw that knowing how to use for loops, knowing how to work with files, knowing how to use the standard library is really helpful. Well, here's another thing that's really helpful, list comprehensions. List comprehensions are the best, but they're also one of the most challenging things for people who are new to Python to learn. And what a list comprehension does is it creates a new list based on an existing iterable. And they look sort of kind of like lists squished in a different way. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say all the Fs equals, and then I'm going to say for one file name in, just like I did before, but that's going to be the second line in my uh, list comprehension. The first line is going to be this thing, PD read CSV. I'm just going to pass that there. And so what I'm doing is PD read CSV, one file name, blah, 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 for one file name in glob, dot glob, and that will give me my all DFs. Now, it's not just a little more compact, and it does run a bit faster, um, but those are not the real reasons to use this. So you should use a list comprehension because you have an iterable, and there's a certain Python expression, meaning an operation, an operator, a method, a function that you can run on each element, and then you want a list back. So what I'm saying is based on that iterable, meaning glob.glob of file names, I want to get a list of file names, I want to get a list of data frames back. And sure enough, all the Fs, right, you know, if I say all the Fs of zero, what's the type of that? It's going to be a data frame. And now once again, I can say df equals pd concat of all the Fs. Could I have just stuck this all together and put this into concat? Yes, absolutely, I could. I could say df equals pd concat of all the Fs. And look at this. Oh, except that it doesn't work because I did not actually uh, provide that there. pd concat. No, no, I don't need that. I do need that. I do need that. There we go. A little bit of syntax errors. That's what you get for live recording, right? And in a few moments, we will see that indeed our df has arrived and then we can do all the analysis that we want with it. All right, and sure enough, df.shape, we're going to see here, sure enough, all 21 million rows are there in all of their glory. So the next time you have to load a bunch of CSV files into a single data frame, try to look into using, at the very least, a for loop, and definitely, definitely look into using a list comprehension. I think you'll find that it compresses things a little bit, and it'll just edge up a little bit, level up a little bit, your knowledge of core Python. I hope this was fun, interesting, and useful to you. If it was, let me know, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm always happy to hear from people. You can also follow me on Twitter where I'm constantly posting about Python and Pandas questions that people ask me in my corporate training. And of course, you should subscribe to my Better Developers mailing list where I send a free article about Python every single week. I will see you again soon, and uh, thanks for watching.